In today's community focus, we are taking you to northern Rhode Island. Cumberland's mayor, Jeffrey Mutter, joining us live via Zoom. Mayor, thanks for being with us today. Great to be here. Thank you. First, wanted to ask about the American Rescue Plan. Cumberland is expected to get about $10 million from President Biden's initiatives. That's the seventh highest of Rhode Island's 39 cities and towns. So, how do you plan to spend all of that money? Well, I mean, at, at this point, I was on a call with the uh, National League of Cities, and, uh, you know, there's, we're still awaiting uh, the guidance on, on, on what you can uh, spend those dollars on. But, and we will be setting up a committee with the town council and, and members of the public to, uh, to find the most appropriate ways um, to spend those funds and stay within the guidelines. We do have, you know, a couple of, uh, uh, of plans. Uh, my outreach uh, director, Sarah King, we, we have some projects that, uh, you know, were, were meant to, uh, to help those in the community most in need. Uh, so these may be dollars that uh, you know we could uh, we could we could put towards uh, that use. But there's a you know there's a litany of uh, uses that that, that we could uh, spend that money on, and uh, we'll be developing that plan shortly. Mayor, you have a new superintendent of schools, Philip Thornton, making a return to that position in your town. He's coming from Warwick. He was part of consolidation efforts in Warwick. So what's your vision for what he'll bring to your schools? Is consolidation on the radar right now? Uh, I, well, I can tell you I was on the school committee when we uh, first hired Dr. Thornton. Uh, not sure exactly what year that was, and I uh, enjoyed a, a really good relationship with, uh, with Dr. Thornton. I mean, he's kind of a change agent, so um, not, not sure uh, what that means uh, for us in Cumberland. I, I would like to take the opportunity to thank uh, Superintendent Mitchell for all his uh, service to Cumberland. He was brought in uh, under Dr. Thornton's leadership uh, back um, when we when we first hired him, so uh, I, I expect uh, Dr. Thornton to do a great job in Cullman. He uh, he did a great job prior. I'd also like to take this opportunity. I mean, we made some great strides uh, with academic achievement here in town, and I appreciate all the efforts of the teachers and the, the administration and everyone else who's had, uh, had had a part of that success. I want to ask about the former Ann and Hope Mill in your town? It's been dormant now for some time. So, are there any redevelopment plans for that mill? Yeah, there. I don't think there's a formal uh, plan, or it certainly hasn't been submitted uh, to the town yet. But there, we are aware of, you know, some discussions. I mean, that is an iconic property in Cumberland and is tied to, uh, you know, the history of the town. Many of my, you know, friends still speak uh, uh, fondly of working there, and, and people my age and, and older, you know, we we have memories of uh, shopping there uh, and, and all the long lines back in the day. And in, in the Chase family has been great. In fact, we have a vaccination clinic uh, on the property going on right now. Uh, so uh, we know it's a vital piece of redevelopment down here uh, in town and in, and in the valley in particular. And uh, so we're going to be working with everybody to make sure that uh, we get that right. Our new governor, Dan McKee, previously sat quite literally in your chair. Uh, do you feel like you have a leg up when it comes to getting the governor's ear for any issues? Are you able to call him directly? Well, I will say when I first got elected in 1996, uh, the governor was elected as well on the council, and you know I served as the council president when 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 the governor Governor McKee was was mayor. Um, now I don't I don't expect any uh, special treatment uh, from uh, Governor McKee. Uh, I think that uh, he's going to treat everybody uh, equally. I, but I, I yeah obviously I, I do have a relationship uh, with the governor, and, and you know I've spoken to him and. And can text him. So uh, that, that's always uh, access is always uh, you know really important when when you sit in the seats that we do. Never a bad thing to be able to text the governor. Um, and mayor, just quickly before we let you go, I know the town is currently replacing 15 mile an hour speed limit signs with 25 mile an hour ones, but the town isn't actually raising the speed limit in those areas, right? That's correct. Those. Uh, you know the 15 mile an hour, and there's no there's no study that I've seen that shows that by putting a lower speed limit sign uh, on a road that that changes the the speed of the traffic. There's a prima facie 85 uh, percent, and most people will drive what's reasonable on the road. So the 15 mile an hour speed limit signs that we're taking down were not legally ordained, and I'm just a believer in that. Uh, well, we post um, you know something, and, and it's going to be executed, and it needs to be done. Uh, right, it's part of our traffic calming initiative. Another part of it is if you have 15 miles an hour, the residents on the street are expecting that to be uh, 
you know, to, to be enforced. And uh, it is not an enforceable speed limit without going through the, the uh, proper channels and, uh, and studies to, to bring that into uh, compliance. So, no, we're not, we're not raising the speed limits. We're putting them uh, where they're legally enforceable and, uh, and in areas where it should be uh, lower than we're going to do the work uh, necessary to make sure we're compliant. Cumberland Mayor Jeff Mutter, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Have a great weekend.